Hello, this is Rick. We're back down here in the shop. I'm going to check out the AP tank again to see how far along the foils have came. Okay, so we'll walk off over here once again. Unplug the unit. Walk back over here. And once again, as we can see, it burped out a bunch more solution. I actually see it a little better right now. I'm actually filming while it's daylight instead of nighttime so you can actually get to see the color of the solutions and whatnot. <laughs> cool. Anyway, I'm going to pop the lid off the tank. I'm going to the camera pointed at my work. But we'll move that off over there. And we'll pull some cards out. And it looks like the foils are still attached. They're coming off though. Oh heck yeah, I rub them and they just wipe right off. Foils off the fingers. Yeah, that's what I got the wand for. I made note of that in my last video. This is why you're supposed to use a wand. You'll get gold foils all over your fingers if you don't. Alright, let's stir this. Easier said than done. idea is just to get them turned against each other without splashing everything or spilling it. The foil should already be fairly loose. And the turning action of this should go ahead and pop them the rest of the way off. At least in most of them. Yeah, I better be careful here. Would be rather catastrophic if I tipped it over. But yeah, you can see that little bit of stirring right there. I'll get just one or two. That way you can actually see oh, what way do I have the best light. And getting a view of the other side of the shop doing it this way too. Anyhow, I'm looking. Oh, there, that actually looks fairly clear. It's all brown. Gold's completely gone off that one except for that little EAB spot right there on the end. You can see it's gold. Most of all that, gone. Gold's off of it. Let me chuck it back in there for the time to end. Yeah, we're getting mighty darn close. Stirring them looked like it did the trick. At least on a good portion of them. Let's try to rack to the camera that we actually set to grab this thing with one hand and stir this with the other. It'd be a whole lot safer. You can see how dark colored that solution is. So it's eating up all the copper. Chips off that RAM card and gone too, of course. You can see it just chewing away at the base metals. They're about ready to be flipped end over in this tank. Just a little more, trying to get a few more of the foils to knock off. Yeah. Some of the foils, you can also see the solution has turned real dark. Dark because it's ate up a bunch more copper. I ain't got a whole lot more room in the tank, but we're going to charge it with a little more peroxide. Oh, seeing that I ain't got a whole lot more room in here, and I ain't got a whole lot more peroxide left either. How much peroxide have I got? <laughs> One bottle of peroxide gone. Oh, it'd be easier to pick this up and look. Yeah, let's see. About 175 milliliters more. I was planning on using 150. So, 175, that's all good.
and watch it turn back to antifreeze green. Long as antifreeze green, it's highly reactive. See it all foaming right up again. Might even be able to hear it fizzing and bubbling. But oh yeah. You see all kinds of foils floating in that now. Alright, well. There ain't a whole lot more to it other than put the bubbler mechanism back in this. Let it go for a while more. Gotta let it go till all the gold comes off. You see all the foils floating in that solution? Oh, that's pretty. Might actually have a decent little yield off this batch of scrap when I'm done. We're going to find out. We're getting close. Most of the gold is stripped off these. I shouldn't have to let them run a whole lot longer. And if I had any more peroxide in any of my other jugs, I'd pour some more peroxide in here too. But I think I'm out of peroxide down here in the workspace at the immediate moment. Okay, let's see. I'm going to scan right down here, let you follow along. Nope, there's no peroxide in that. Means my other peroxide jugs are up in the house. Well, I'll let it run for a few more hours and then I'll come down here and add some more peroxide. I can probably get another 200 milliliters of peroxide in here before this tank is completely overflowing. And then I gotta start with new solution. I will reuse part of the old solution because the copper in solution is part of what causes it to react so heavily eating the other copper. It's a self-sustaining reaction thing going on. I'm not going to bother to explain the chemistry. But anyway, I will do that. And that being said, I guess I'm going to say bye with this video here and end it until I start the next clip. Thanks for watching. Yeah, well, wait a minute. I'm going to go ahead and I guess just clip this back on. I'm get close to my 8 minute time limit on this though and I don't want the thing cam to kick off while I'm sitting here rattling my jaw. But yeah, there we go. It's back in. That's putting my overflow. Walk back over here. Plug the tank back in. There's bubbling and there's churning. Thanks for watching.